While the Rams were on their court this afternoon, the UT Rocket women were practicing earlier this morning. Trisha Cullip's crew just a couple of days out from a return trip to the Women's National Invitation Tournament. BCSN's Danny Rogers set that alarm early and has more with the Rockets. Thanks, Eric. The Toledo women's basketball season isn't over just yet. After playing one of the toughest schedules under head coach Trisha Cullup, her team is heading to the WNIT. Tough, heartbreaking loss for Sean and the Mac, but you guys get a second chance. What was the initial reaction after you found out you guys were going to continue on in the WNIT? Our coach sent us a message and the whole team was sending emojis, like celebration emojis, because like, I personally, I was like, because of our record, I was I didn't think we would make it, but I think it's, I'm pretty ecstatic, the fact that we get another chance and I also get to stay, play in this um, uniform. And just having that kind of sent chills to my body as like a relief and I was happy that we could play again. You know, it was a really difficult year. Uh, there are some games we left out there that I wish we could have had, but I'm really proud of this group and I'm glad that the, the WNIT committee took a look at it and said, hey, this is a team that's worthy. Toledo will face Wright State in the first round. Throwback to three years ago in 2015, Toledo also faced off against Wright State in the first round in the WNIT. This time, Coach Culp had a feeling they might draw the Raiders again. You know, I wasn't surprised just because, you know, the WNIT tries to keep your first game regional. And sometimes when you take a look at who else is in, if they played each other during the regular season, they're not going to give you them for the first round. So I had kind of predicted that this could happen. I thought we'd get them or Cincinnati or IUPUI. Um, I was not surprised at all. It gives us confidence, but we can't be complacent. Um, again, they're a different team, but... I think we just need to focus on one game at a time, no matter what, it's going to be a new team if we keep furthering on, but we just need to do what we um, have worked on to get better. Just being able to play at home and then knowing there's a team that um, the coaches are familiar with, um, they've scouted them before. I've played against a few members on the t um, Wright State team, so just having some familiar familiarity with each team, is, uh, with the team and some players is good. You won the whole thing in 2011, WNIT. So I can ask this, what goes into winning a WNIT? I think just taking it one game at a time. You know, we never looked ahead. Uh, I think you've got to be in the moment. You've got to do all the little things. You've got to take care of the ball. You've got to be a great rebounding team. Um, and, you know, you're going to face a lot in a hurry. Uh, so I think being able to quickly adapt and be who you need to be to win each game. Uh, I remember playing against so many different styles every game. You know, we played against Atlanta Deladon, then a pressing Alabama team, then a USC team that was a foot taller than us in every position. You know, I think our kids did a really good job of just being the best us we could be and, and not getting too consumed with the opponent, and I do think that's a big key. The Rockets' first round will kick off Friday with a home court advantage at Savage Arena as they continue on a familiar journey of trying to make history once again.